Series 3. That's a rare thing to be in a third series of anything. And this, to me, is the best series yet. And as each year goes on, you know, we're finding new depths to the stories, we're finding new facets to the characters, we're, we're enjoying the settings and the locations. And it's bigger, broader, there's more of the characters, you know, warmth, family life, and it's just expanding. Um, and that, that's my kids. Can you hear my kids out there? That's my, that's what I have to deal with every day. I leave two at home and I come and get four. <laughs> it's just a world that, you know, we love, we love exploring. Hit a six and the drinks are on me. It's a free bar and you know it. And why are we wasting our time out here? Geordie's obviously went there with Sydney every, every step of the way. Their relationship has had take, took a battering in series two. Um, but, you know, they've obviously grown and become stronger as a result. And there is a steady stream of crime and murders to be, to be dealt with and solved. Geordie. Everyone's really come into themselves. Everyone's really got a story. Their relationships with each other have grown so much now that there's just a lot more detail. For me, more than anything else, Series 3 is about these relationships. Amanda Hopkins. She's an old friend of mine. And her husband is comfortable with your relationship. Uh, I didn't realize that there was an 11th commandment. Thou shalt not be friends. Mrs. McGuire is married. Should we avoid being seen with her? The subtext of this series is love versus duty. If God is love and his, his love for Amanda is wrong, well, the church must be wrong. And that is the dilemma of the series for Sydney. We very much knew we wanted to explore their relationship across the series um, and to really explore the choice that Sydney has to make between the church and his duty and Amanda in love. How's it all going to work, Sydney? You, me, the situation. Sydney knows that he's in love with Amanda and the audience know that and she knows that. They are, in the very traditional sense, star-crossed. And that's really at the sort of heart of the series.